Business news because we have some important business to discuss in the world of sports. The Springbok squad for the Rugby World Cup 2015 has been announced. Coach Hanukkah Mayer chose a 31-man squad, many of them players who've done duty before. In the squad are also eight players of colour as he tries to address the transformation issue which has dogged the Springbok team over the past few weeks. The World Cup starts in the UK in 21 days' time. Well, uh, for more on this, uh, we cross to sports anchor and reporter Simon Burke in Durban. Good evening to you, Simon. Uh, any surprises here? There were a couple of surprises, one of them being Rudy Page, the Blue Bulls scrum half. This is a guy that uh, played outstandingly during the Super Rugby, and he was one of those kind of players we said he played so well he needs to be in the Springbok team. Well, Heine Kamea has added him to his 31-man squad, However, he never ever gave him any game time or tried him out or toured with him. He was always a member of the practicing squad, but now he's got the nod as the third scrum half behind Fouri Dupreer and Ruan Pina. It's great news, but we do think this is kind of his offering to the transformation debate, saying, you know, I am trying a little bit. It's not quite enough, but it is, it is a surprise. Well, eight black players, uh, will that calm the, the talk that he's not committed at all to transformation of this team? Well, the point of this uh, current debate was not that it's about uh, players based on merit, not that it's about national inclusion, all that kind of stuff. It's about the fact that during Super Rugby, and even last year, we had players who were outstanding, who were team leaders, who were leading the stats in regional rugby competitions, who were not getting picked for the Springboks. Rather, Henneke Meyer was opting for experience, for the players he's used before, for the players he's picked before in his teams that won Super 14, that won Curry Cups. Uh, he was going with what he knew. So I don't think he's going to placate anyone in terms of the transformation debate. I don't think this is a fully transformed Bok team. It's more like the usual suspects have been picked. And then one guy out of the blue, which is nice, but we need more of that. Okay, so he's not being adventurous. Just tell us some of the big names here, Simon. This, this news uh, breaking a while ago, uh, no, no one's seen the, the full list yet. Uh, tell us who stands out for, for you, even if they are the familiar names that we know. Well, it's about um, Heine Kamea going with what he knows. So we, we're going to get the Skulkbergers, the Jean de Villiers, the Victor Matfields. These are guys that are certain and they tried and tested. A couple of them do have question marks about them. Have they lost a yard of pace? Are they quite as sharp as they used to be? Are there younger guys coming up? He's also gone for versatile players. So a guy like Skulk Brits, a hooker, who's been playing for Saracens for years, he's come into the team as the third hooker behind Adrian Strauss and Bismarck Duplessis. The reasoning being he can also cover at flank. That's quite nice. Peter Steph de Toy, same kind of concept. He's in at lock but he can also cover at the back row. And so Mayer has gone for versatility. He's tried to tick all the boxes. He's tried to squeeze everything he can out of this 31-man squad. He's left a fair few players out, and that is quite a surprise. Heinrich Rousseau doesn't get the nod. Cornell Hendricks doesn't get the nod. Francois Hochart not involved in the team. So Mayer, he's kind of stuck with what we know he will stick with. It didn't go too well this season. He lost all his matches in the Rugby Championship. He had a win in Argentina, but that was kind of like a, a, uh, an anomaly victory. He, he threw in a couple of second stringers and they performed. But I don't think he's going to go with these guys when he picks a full-on starting 23 to go into the knockout stages of the tournament. Okay, so given the um, se selection, you are going with the team, I believe, to the World Cup. And journalists shouldn't be making predictions, but forget about that. I want to know how far you think uh, this selection could go. The biggest worry when we saw the draw for this World Cup is that we're in Pool B and we're going to play whoever finishes second in Pool A, provided we win Pool B. The problem is, Pool A involves England, Wales and Australia. So I don't want to make predictions, 
but our quarterfinal is going to be really, really tough. All right, thank you very much, Simon Burke. Uh, that squad announced today, and it does sound daunting uh, for the team. And no major surprises, except maybe one, according to Simon. Well, I'll be back uh, with the remainder of our business bulletin after this short break.